Hello! Welcome back to another episode of All or Not According to Jack with your host, Jack Toledano. As you can see, I have a very special guest, Lynn Versace, <laughs> a good friend of mine and Pete's from uh, Sea of Tranquility in the Hudson Valley Squares. How are you, Lynn? Good, good. I'm so excited you asked me to do this episode. So happy. Okay, so uh, I haven't told everybody what we're doing yet, but I'll get into that in, in just a minute. But I feel like I just saw Lynn recently. Uh, we were both on, uh, we both had guest spots on the Hudson Valley Squares to talk about uh, Saxon and Uriah Heat. Oh. I saw them in Patchogue, Long Island. Uh, Lynn saw them at uh, Peekskill, basically yeah. right down the block from where I used to live back in the early yeah. 90s. But uh, great shows. Yeah. Actually, I, I mean, I like them both, but you're right. He kicked my butt. Oh, yeah. They, aren't they? Wonderful? Kicked my butt. That drummer blew me out of the water. I was like, yeah. you know, me and my drummers. I'm like, who is that guy? Like, yeah. I guess I just never really paid attention right. before. And I was like, oh, my God, these guys, he's a Neanderthal. He hits so hard. And oh, yeah. I was waiting for the drums to split. I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's like another John Bonham. Yeah. Oh, he they was so him. good. It was so, it, just watching him play was like, Really? Yeah. I kept hitting Pete. He yeah. was this poor guy's arm probably was bruised because I, you know, was with Pete oh, that night. So I just kept hitting him. It's like, all right, <laughs> okay. Like, and I have to apologize if I sound like Rudolph at liftoff practice because I woke up like with a little bit of a cold today. So, oh, well, I I hear you. I, I had to get up extra early. My, my wife is, is at our upstate home and I'm left to take care of the dog and give it its <laughs> early morning feeding. So I actually had to set my alarm on my phone because I oh, man. usually does that. So I, I, I should go with your wife to the upstate home. I could use a retreat. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's great. I was just there this weekend. But that's oh, actually thanks. where I was when you were uh, when you came to Long Island for the Queensryche and uh, Armored Saints. Yeah. Uh, in hindsight, I, I would have liked to join you guys. That would have been cool. Oh, that but was freaking amazing. Next time. but uh, ne Definitely next time. Definitely so next uh, time. what's going on in the life of Lynn right now? <laughs> in 50 Just, words or less. I, listen, busy, busy, busy. Like all I do is work six, seven days a week. I, I take care of the house. My kids are 18 and 20, but I'm, they don't really, you know, they're not doing household stuff. So I do it all alone. It's a little challenging, but I'm doing concert security. I'm doing bartending. And I'm at Bethel Woods and I'm at uh, Daryl's house and I'm at Rennie Gate Stadium. And I do the Capitol Theater. And actually, they're asking me to now start doing some work at uh, in uh, Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. So, oh, wow. Okay. Doing stuff up there, MVP Arena. So I'm kind of like all over the map, but. If, I, it's hard for me to say no to money. So if by chance you you happen to get the Iron Maiden show in November, I'll buy a ticket and I'll go just to hang out. Which where are they playing? Are they are they are at Barclays from if from are they? Understand. Then yeah. I'm going to tell my boss put me on that show. Yeah, I did see them there once uh, once upon a time a few years back, and what a great yeah show. yeah, but yeah so. Yes. Anyway. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just busy, busy. You know, it's okay. Challenging, that's for sure. That's cool. So, but I, plus, I have my legislator job, right? I'm helping my county, my community. That's, so. Yeah, that that's really. I mean, that's cool. really first and for, first and foremost. Everything else is like extra, you know. But I can't leave the music because it's my love. Oh yeah, same here. It's sometimes I think it's what keeps me going. What you know? It, there's no question. Down. Yeah. There's not even a question because. People go, oh, my God, like, really? You go to that many shows or you're working that many shows? or It's like, if I don't see live music, I will wither away and die. Like, mm -hmm. it just, it, a life without live music is just not worth it to me. Yeah, you know? um, I hear you. It's just not, I, I, it's what, it's my fuel. It's my fire. It's my love. It's yeah. my passion. I don't know how I did with only one concert last year, so I'm. Oof. I'm already at two, and I and I have a third very close to my birthday in early June. So that'll yeah. that'll be cool. But I know I told Pete we're gonna have to do a conglomeration, another sea of tranquility, you know, field trip, if you will. Sure. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. You know, that'd be fun. 
Yeah. Uh, I got to throw my phone away. <laughs> my mother's You're throwing it away? Yeah, no, just so it's out of the way. If I throw my phone away, we're screwed because it, yeah. that's what I'm on, as usual, yep. in true B fashion. Yep. Uh, because I was like, so, why is Lynn so little? I go, well, I'm little and I use my phone. Right. So anyway, our topic for tonight, and I asked Lynn to join me because we both love this guy so much. Uh, it is a dream set list of Mr. Ronnie James Dio. And basically what we did was I opened it up so that we can uh, put songs from pretty much any of the bands he's been with. Uh, you know, Rainbow, Black Sabbath, his uh, solo band Dio, and there may be a surprise or, or two otherwise. So, uh, and Lynn was uh, on board oh, with, with this project. So happy. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, I just went to his grave when I was in California. No, really? Wow. Yeah, I was in California in December and a friend of mine who's in the industry um, was like, come on, get in the car, let's go. And he took me to all the famous graves and Dio was one and I just sat there for a while and just I know talked to him and prayed to him and yeah I know it I, was a it was a really touching yeah it's a really cool and it, we just had his anniversary of his death which we did yeah uh, I looked it up this morning uh, May sixteenth of twenty ten yeah yeah Mr Dio and uh, it was a very yeah which day. sucks you know yeah yeah his his uh, Wendy and I think a bunch of people were at his grave that day. Mm -hmm. uh but yeah it was a uh, his grave is beautiful it's amazing and it's really magical in true yeah. ronnie fashion magical you know? mystical no oh, man <laughs> no question no but, question uh, but basically we are going to celebrate his life and his career by coming up with two really oh, yeah. dream set lists so without further ado uh let's hear yours lynn what do you got? All right. I'm all over the map. <laughs> yeah, in, in true me fashion. I'm just going to equate it to I'm a girl. I get away with it. Um, you know, so I, I, and this is in no particular order. I really don't care where the, the songs are placed. As long as if I'm on a desert island, it's a compilation of these songs. And it's not really an album. Because if I had to pick an album, it would be what? 12 songs, whatever. Right. I couldn't do it. So mm -hmm. I had to do like a devil album, you know, Okay. because um, I, I had a lot of songs because it's T.O. and fuck it, why not, right? So I have uh, Faces in the Window from Dream Evil. Okay. Dream Evil, title track. I have We Rock, Last in Line. I have Last in Line, title track. Um, I have Egypt, The Chains Are On from the Last in Line because that's a killer tune. Okay. I have Blood from a Stone, Strange Highways. Mm -hmm. I have Hunter of the Heart from Strange Highways. I have Rock and Roll Children, nice. Sacred Heart. Love it. King of Rock and Roll, Sacred Heart. I have Catch the Rainbow from Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Okay. <laughs> from Long Live Rock and Roll, the title track. Lady of the Lake, because holy shit. Oh, yes. Great song. Yeah. But, but my favorite on that album is Gates of Babylon. Yes, me too. Because for me, you can't have, whether it's a greatest hits of or a runaway desert island without having Gates of Babylon. You, to me, it's like, yeah, it has to be there. Um, you know, I there's also the, uh, he, he did this live 76 album and they have that over the rainbow, kill the king. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's killer. I don't know if it's a must on the record, but I, I love that. So I had to mention it because oh, it's no, also it, one of my favorite it's great. movies. Yeah. Great introduction. Yeah. 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 Uh, Stargazer off Rainbow Rising. Okay. Man on the Silver Mountain. Uh, Stand Up and Shout, Holy Diver. Title track, to Holy Diver. Okay. Uh, Tarot Woman off Rainbow Rising. Right. Off Heaven and Hell, I have Lady Evil. Nice. Love it. Die Young, because, again, <laughs> Children of the Sea, it's like a staple. I know it's, everyone's like, oh, you always kind of hear it, but it's it's a feel-good song to me. Mm -hmm. um, I have Don't Talk to Strangers of Holy Diver. Okay. I have Rainbow in the Dark, because, again, these are staples of when I grew up. 
Yes. You know, you're going to these rock metal nights. Those are the songs that were there. Um, a Light in the Black off Rainbow Rising. Very nice. That did not make my cut, by the way, but but I'll, I'll explain why. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Uh, um, I have Sign of the Southern Cross off Mob Rules. That did make my cut. Falling off the edge of the world off Mob Rules and Mob Rules. And then my my surprise. Um, I mean, of course, I like D Die Young, Neon Knights. Um, I, I like the medley, uh, the Man of the Silver Mountain, the medley from the 76 is good. But again, it's kind of like my extra bonus pick. But something that he did when he was a kid, and I used to listen to it with my mom, because my mom would always go, what are you always doing this for? <laughs> you know, once when I was a teenager. So I had to sit her down, explain to her, you know. She's like, wait a minute. So, you know, I told her about him, and... I can remember later on in life finding his Ronnie James Dio and the and the prophets, and he did Love Potion number nine. Yeah, and I thought that was kind of cool. So that would just be like a bonus track for my mom because oh, she liked go. that. Yeah, but but she did like metal. God rest her soul, she did, and she always gave me the, she goes that's the Malloykia. You know, I said yep. I don't know what it is. He's Italian, of course it's the Malloykia. I get it. Yep. <laughs> he got it. You know, but uh. I know she some people did. mistook it. And she always did it sideways because right. when you're Italian, she always did it sideways. I'm like, Mom, just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's, those are, and I'm sure you're probably going to have a lot of those. Uh, maybe you have some deeper tracks than um, I have. I did have. I have a some lot earlier, less deep tracks. earlier yeah. deeper tracks. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure you do. And, and again, it's not that I didn't want those. It's just that when you're doing Ronnie James Dio, Dude, I could have been here all night. Yeah. Right? Oh, like, I could have just, because I, I went down a rabbit hole the past couple of days. I'm like, shit, I got to go on the show with Jack. Yeah. <laughs> check this stuff out. And I'm like, oh my. And then every, then I would go, all right, let me just let me just check out a couple from this record. And then I was like, you can't. Yeah. You know, I could, every time I played an album, I just played the album in its entirety because I was like, whatever. Like, I just don't want to turn his voice off. Yeah. I just can't do it. He's he's probably one of my favorite singers of all time, ever. Right. You know, metal and non-metal. Like he's just, I don't know, like yeah, he, no, that magical. Too, I mean, and and it's like he's never taken a voice lesson in his life. He he's he said that he got his breath control from having played the trumpet. So how cool is that? Yeah. But that is so cool. I mean, that's so cool. To, I, I think it's really awesome. To be able to belt it out like that. And uh, you once said that you actually met him. That is the coolest thing. I did meet him at the Mid-Hudson Civic Center back in the day. And there was, you know, it wasn't like there were cell phones or whatever. We were still doing pagers back then. And right. I was quite young. And uh, I remember saying to him, and I can't do verbatim because it's been a really long time. But I remember saying to him something about him being so short because I'm short obviously right. right so i would say to him now do you get intimidated or you you know how, like how are you like that when you're in a room full of all these rock stars and they're bigger than you and he's like i do the intimidating mm -hmm. and i don't do it by being loud or being vocal i do it just because of my energy and i demand respect and it, it was just he was like no no you have to you know like he basically telling me like it doesn't matter how small you are Mm -hmm. You know, you could still be the biggest voice in the room. And I felt like he lived up to that always. Like he was always the biggest voice in the room, you know? Right. So it's yeah. funny because I want to be a motivational speaker. So I, I think about that all the time. And I'm like, you know what? I want to be the biggest voice in the room. I might be the littlest person, but. Oh, no, you command respect. I, I see it in the Hudson Valley Square. So, yeah. Yeah, I try to all the time. You know, I think it's important that. You give respect, you get respect. Sure. You know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll take a joke and I'll mess around and I'll flirt and yeah. all that stuff, you know, but I have lines that you can't cross. And if you can't cross it, you ain't coming back. So, yeah. Oh, I hear you. Right. If I that makes sense. You know, once idea. you cross that line, you're out. And then if, when you want to come back in and there will be a day, it's not happening. You know, I just right. can't do it. I just, yeah. I don't like to be disrespected at all. No, I, I'm with you a thousand percent. Yeah. It, 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 it takes peanuts to be kind and be nice yeah 
you know, I thank God for all my blessings as Ronnie did, or right? he was a God fearing guy and whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. not, not that he was so religious, but I'm just saying like, he, you know, he talked about, and I don't know what his religious beliefs were, but I know that we talked about the Maloik and all that stuff. And I'm telling him about, you know, God. And I, I, I think he still, whether he practiced, I don't know if he practiced or not his religion, but I know I do. And faith and kindness are, are pretty big. Yeah. They're up there with my respect, you know. It doesn't cost anything, or, you know. No, it's free not to be an asshole. <laughs> I don't understand how some people put a price on it. Like, yeah. They do. And people are always trying to tempt fate. And they're always trying to cross the line. Yeah. Let's see how far I could take it. Even guys, you know, when I was in the dating scene and all that stuff. And right. they try to cross the line. And it's like, that's a but, bad move right there. It. Your children yeah. try to test you. Your your pets try to test you. Ever every it's always like yeah, it's, it's a true. big test. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Well, the only one we have to answer to is right up there. So yeah, everything happens in his time for his reason is what I believe. Anyway, okay. So getting to my dream set list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I've been doing this for this series. I've been uh uh sharing my screen and going to my um what the heck is it my um oh i gotta open it you're uh, very fancy well you know what i try to do some things, things a little different but they're i'm still lacking in in some of the technology like i see some of these other people do but i know but i'm i'm out I'm totally stuck in 1984 to motley crew concert so yeah there's that <laughs> but yeah, if I can get it to open. So yeah, so I'm tr uh, oh, oh, it's not working. Oh, there we All go. All right, so you yeah. could just tell me like I told you. Yeah. Oh no, I got it. There it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to share. Uh, share, share screen. <laughs> And we're both off to the side. I'm just gonna move. Uh, I'm just gonna move us in front of this wonderful uh, uh, album cover. Okay, so uh, I have 21 songs, three songs in the encore. So I start with "Stand Up and Shout." I wanted something, you know, a real statement. Uh, you know, just real strong, powerful opener. Uh, then we go into one of my favorites, "Kill the King." Uh, Starstruck, off of Rising, uh, Last in Line, um, by, which, by the way, I am covering the Last in Line tour. And what I'm doing is I'm playing most of his uh, his more famous songs, but there are a few exceptions, which I'll get to. Uh, some of his older songs, I, I dug deeper into the catalog. Like okay. uh, you mentioned Gates of Babylon. I have that. It's holy shit, right? Yeah. Uh, one of my deep tracks, Black Sheep of the Family, which I love. Nice. Children of the Sea is the first song from uh, Sabbath of uh, that that I do with uh, Dio. Moving down. Oops. Where is where's my little line right there? Lady Evil, which you mentioned. I'm gonna move us a little more. She's a magical, mystical woman. <laughs> Number nine, mystery. Also, Ooh. yeah. Number 10, sensitive to light. That's another uh, deep track, which I had yeah, wow. off of Long Live Rock and Roll. Uh, okay. so, so it was uh, Black Sheep of the Family and Sensitive to Light that I substituted for Light in the Black, which I originally had. So okay. I went back and listened to my playlist. I'm like, wait a second. This is a little too long and monotonous. Let me get these other two in. I think people would like these. So, okay. So number eleven, little su surprise, the the first Elf album. Oh, Gucci yes. Lady. Yes, uh, I love the beginning where it's got the honky tonk piano sound, really cool, and then uh, so I, I just something to surprise everybody. So then what I did was I did a second Elf song right behind it just. Because the spoil, the surprise is spoiled, and we don't want to have everybody have to go through that again later in the show. So, I picked my other favorite Elf song, Dixie Lee Junction. You got a poke down, yeah. Yes, 
great. Oh, Dixie Lee Junction, damn. Yeah, great. Another great song. You know, yeah. you know these songs, I guess, right? I do. I listened to it. I just didn't pick any because I was like, I, there was other songs that I wanted on my record. Well, yeah, I just I wanted to uh, I wanted to make this like a commemorative album. Uh, so yeah. I was trying to think of a theme, but I couldn't come up with one. But this concert happened in like 1984. But so I'll say it's the 10 year anniversary of when he started with Rainbow at this at this yeah. juncture. So song number 13, Straight Through the Heart, which you mentioned. 14, title track, Holy Diver. Oh, yeah. 15, Catch the Rainbow. Tarot Woman, which I know. Thank you, song, yes. Which I love. The Sign of the Southern Cross, Back <laughs> to the Sabbath. 18, Man on the Silver Mountain. Uh, so, and I was just telling my son the other day that this song never gets old for me. Those opening chords, those opening power chords, which I love so yeah. much. I, I can never get enough of it. Uh, uh, I, this is one of those songs I will never, uh, you know, get bored of. 19, where we're getting close. Mob Rules. Nice. Uh, 20, We Rock. And then the, the finale before the encore, Heaven and Hell. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> What's so the encore? So it's about a two-hour set. Uh, so the encore, there's three songs, uh, one from each era. Of course, I really love the song Neon Nights. Had to have it. <coughs> Do I, I have that? Love that powerful beginning. Uh, then Rainbow in the Dark, because that was probably his biggest hit at the time. And then the finale, it's his version of uh, Rock and Roll All Night, Party Every Day, Long Live Rock and Roll. So well done, Jack. Well done. Thank you so much. So that is Love that. in a nutshell. I would like to know what the listeners are going to come up with. Yeah. Oh, that's what I would like to know. I would like them to put their freaking comments. Yeah. And and just make their own record and tell us. I'm dying yeah, to know. They they they've been doing that. Yeah. So uh, let me see if I can just do a recap of uh of what dream set lists I've done. Some I've <laughs> done myself. I did one for accept. I did one for Primal Fear. Uh, I did one for, uh, I redid one for Jethro Tull with a guy named Steve Buckley, who is very talented when it comes to uh, putting these videos together with, you know, with music. Uh, I did one for Rush uh, with a buddy of mine back home. Uh, I did one with uh, Led, Led Zeppelin with uh, another good buddy of mine, Davey Creighton. Uh, Aaron Cuffer for, for, the, for the Rush one, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, Sydney's That's favorite. Funny. Uh, and then That's I cute. and then I actually did one for Uriah Heat because you know what? Uh, I really? love the concert, but it left me wanting more. So. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Well, that like I said, that drummer just kicked my ass. He did. Oh yeah. He's like I really wanted to. Like I got to tell that guy. Like he. Yeah, well, for one hundred and seventy-five dollars, you could have bought the uh, the meet and greet. I I had no. To... Pete and I had Pete and I had after show. We saw. Oh, nice. Things. Okay, yeah, he's. Uh... It was cool. I just didn't see him. I just didn't get oh, to see okay, him. Okay, yeah. I probably should have just went on the tour bus or something. I don't know. Okay. Well, Not that I know how to get on tour buses or anything. I'm just <laughs> saying, like, if there was a way. Glad you clarified. But yeah, well, for one hundred and seventy-five dollars, you can meet them all. I'm kidding. And... Yeah. I'm just fucking with you. No, I know. Just I, messing around. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was fun. And then, you know what? A lot we had a good time at that show anyway. We did. No, that was, that was really cool. I, uh, there was a bunch of us, the pictures and the Yeah. You know, a bunch of fans were like, oh my God, it's the whole crew. Like it was cool. I, I would have liked to go, but it, you know, the peaks is a little tough because it's an hour and a half from where I live on Long Island. And then it's like an addition. Where do you live? Uh I'm in mid Nassau County. So yeah, I'll tell you off screen. Yeah, yeah I got to do some shows in Nassau. I got to do some cricket festival, or well, the World Cup of cricket. Oh, uh, oh, you're you're shitting me. No, I'm not shitting you. They want me to work a couple day shifts for the for what the you? for the cricket thing. I don't even know what the hell cricket is. I'm not gonna lie. Lynn, 
that is in the town that I live in. Yes. Get the fuck out of here. I, I shit you not. Bro, we're going to have to meet for like lunch. Yes. Like, I think I'm done at like 2.30 or 3 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have to meet after that. So your series, the cricket tournament in Eisenhower Park, huh? Yes, that's it. Eisenhower uh, Park. Yes. What the fuck is cricket? I don't know. It's 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 kind of like baseball, but it's played in the in the British countries, and I know it's popular in India and Pakistan. But let me Thanks. tell you, a lot of people down here are really pissed off about about that tournament, because I grew up going to that park, and the things that they've done to that park, it's I like I like wide open space, but they basically put that stadium right in the middle of a wide open space, and and. They keep saying, oh, it's a temporary stadium. I want to see what it's going to be after this tournament is over. And It's the World Cup. But when I was a kid. I think it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, I, mean, I know. From what I understand. Uh, the, our county executive keeps saying that it's good for, you know, it's good for business in Nassau, but uh, I don't know. Well, well in it, essence, he or she is right, because in theory, out-of-towners will come and spend their money and you're, yeah. you know, they'll pay the your county's taxes buying the stuff right. from the local people. So, but they're not they're not lying. The funny thing is, I mean, in the town that I live in, I don't think there's really any four or five star restaurants. Maybe there's one or two, but oh, is it a bougie? Is it a bougie thing? It gets a little bougie. Yeah, I, I, you know, three four stars, but I can, uh, I can suggest places where we could meet up for a drink but listen i'm down with a good dive bar and music so okay don't pick a bougie place for me no i no, i i know a <laughs> place uh in mind right across the street and uh in the shopping center a place called garden yeah. social it's called yeah it, cool. it's new and, yeah but wow yeah that'll be that fun yeah i'll have to let you know when that is yeah yeah That's, i'll be right there oh okay maybe we'll maybe we'll do like a We'll do a quick, like, a uh, YouTube quick, you know, like a hey. Sure. I, yeah. Okay. You, you know what I could do? I mean, I, I could walk into the park. I don't think you're allowed to just drive in without a, a pass, but I, I know how to get, you know, I know all, all the tricks. I mean, this is a park yeah. where when I was a little kid, we used to go, there was a sled hill. So what did they do? They ruined it by putting a an ice skating rink for the Islanders to practice. I mean, what the hell did we need that for? I don't know. I who doesn't like a hockey player? I I know. <laughs> like I said, I like wide open space. I mean, this is a park where. Uh, hey, I live upstate. I got nothing but wide open space up here, I so mean, I get it. <laughs> here in Mid Nassau County, uh, you know, I've golfed there a few times, and you would have never thought that you'd see a red fox on that golf course, and I did see one. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're here all the time. Yeah. But, we have lots of foxes up here. We have bear up here, deer. Right. right. So it's crazy. I know sometimes when I go let my dogs out at night, I'm like, I gotta put them on the leash because one time I didn't let my dogs out in the front, and all of a sudden these three deer, my dog was like just took off after the deer. And I'm like, Oh, oh. wow. Hmm. That's yeah. that's one thing I, I have on your Nassau County. No, no deer and and no coyote yet. But they're coming. Yeah. Well, I hope not. Because yeah. that would suck. Because coyotes yeah. are not that friendly. No, they're not. But fortunately, I have yeah. a, I have a fenced in yard. So that. that uh, I thought you were going to say, fortunately, I have a shotgun. I was like, yeah, I got one too. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> that, that I don't have. It's like I sleep with mine. So <laughs> for real, though, like I sleep with mine. So. Wow. So that's a notice to you guys. No screwing around. No, seriously, anybody. And I tell my son all the time, because at one point before I had, you know, he would have his friends just come in my house in the middle of the night, you know, and I'm like, you, mm -hmm. you have to tell your friends. Yeah. My mother's got a gun. And if you enter my house in the middle of the night, it's not going to go well. Right. So I tell his friends, his friends that came up, I'm like, just call me. If you're going to come here, yeah. call me first. Yes. Agreed. You know, because yeah. I'm not, I'm not asking questions. It's going to be click, click. And the next sound's going to be boom, you know, like. I'm just saying if someone's breaking in my house, like I just don't no, know who it is. Just I hear you. I'm five foot one. I'm not asking questions. Yeah, you know, no. You're I, in my house. You're not I, invited. I hear you. Yeah. You know, not so not happening.
<laughs> I'm so thankful for you for letting me on, Jack. Oh, it, Lynn, it is absolutely my pleasure. Had a good time, yeah. Yeah. I wore my big chunky jewelry in honor of nice Mr. Dio today. You know. Okay, I, I forgot to wear my uh, my British steel uh, uh, emblem, but next time we should did, did you do a judas priest dream album uh well i wasn't going to because i had already done that with pete and ryan scout oh that's right okay yeah what about queens right uh well i could but the problem is i don't really know them that well but oh what, what i could do that's like an that, arrow through my heart jack that that's okay I will, <laughs> what I could do is I could probably arrange to to have an encore in you know in the fall because Lynn and I have another engagement in the fall. I'm not going to say what just yet, but uh, oh. it's coming up, and we could we could plan to do it a Queens right. I could always bring back a few bands that I didn't cover, but incidentally, uh, when when you met up with me at, at seeing Priest in Albany like a year or two ago. That wasn't the first time I saw Queen's Reich open for Priest. Oh, okay. Uh, 2005 at Jones Beach, they opened for Kiss. Uh, no, yeah. not Kiss. Uh, Judas. But, it, but it was not Todd Latour. No, it was Jeff it Tate. It was Jeff Tate. Yeah. Which, I, I like Jeff Tate, but I, I like them both. Yeah. And I was a Jeff right. fan only. Mm -hmm. And you know, you saw how that played out on on the Hudson Valley Squares. It was like, right. no way, it's not Queens right. Jeff Tate, fuck that guy. And I was, you know, yeah. and then all of a sudden, I listened to all Todd Latore's stuff, and then I saw him live, and I was like, all right, he's easy on the eyes, which helps. But aside from that, the guy plays drums ridiculous. You know how I am about my drummers, right? And he sings on point like that show that they just did. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! I mean, he did "Lady Wore Black." It's well, I what? saw him Operation that, Mind Crime. It was I saw him in that show uh, with uh, with uh, Priest at Albany, and yeah, and yeah, they were great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his almost his like, voice. Uh, it's almost like Jeff Tate never left. But well, the thing is, he can hit the notes. Jeff can't. Jeff's got to like drop it down. Right now, he can't hit this, and I get it because we're all getting older, right? Like, I right. don't sing like I used yeah. to. Right. I'm a great singer, but I don't sing like I used to when I was 20. I get it, but mm -hmm. Todd, when I just saw him the other day, it was like, holy shit, like his vocals are on point. That's it's almost great. like he just keeps getting better. So, okay, well, I'm now a Todd Latore fan. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I mean, I, I try to sing the praises of Tim Ripper Owens, and a lot of Priest fans put him down, but. Uh, yeah yeah no i like ripper he was he played the chance a whole lot yeah and he knew my old boss uh frank that owned the chance so yeah i mean he's uh, solid he got good vocals i get it but i mean fucking rob helford's rob helford i know you know yeah. ronnie james dio is ronnie james dio like you, correct yeah yeah you can't you can't, you can't replace can't. some of them but you can't. i know but Sabbath did it's a close replace, second you know, yeah did play replace Dio with Halford for a few concerts where uh, Dio refused yeah. to perform with Sabbath. I don't know if you know that yeah. story. That was uh, uh, Ozfest. They they agreed to do Ozfest, and and he's like, I will not. So I will not uh, be a support band for that clown. Is what oh. he said. Yeah. So he ref absolutely steadfastly refused. So so they asked wow. Halford if he would step in for a couple of shows and. Uh, he did with uh, Ronnie's permission. Wow, they were good. that's I, wild. Yeah. No, I did not know that. Yeah. Very. That's crazy. Of course, Halford did a good job, you know. Yeah, and of course, now there's Last in Line that's touring. Right. My friend sings for them. He does oh, a nice. great job. Okay. He does a great job. He does a really good job. So I can't down him. You know, he's, his vocals actually got better. Since we used to hang out back in the class back in the day, Middletown, you know, it takes practice. Yeah, it's a lot of practice. Yeah. Well, the vocal cords are a muscle, right? So. Oh, absolutely! You got to stretch so, yeah. that out. And, yeah. Yeah, totally. Well, I appreciate you. I had a really good time. So. Yeah, me thank too. Thank you to the viewers. To, I hope everyone lists their rec their songs. You know, yeah. dying to, to read. And also, everybody, uh, uh, please subscribe.
Uh, that's my oh, yeah. business card, by the way, that I'm giving out when I meet people at shows. So I love it. I want one. Okay. I'll, you'll definitely get one next time Yay. I see you in person. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll like, share it and tell people to subscribe to my friend's show. Yeah. Well, yes, please do. I'll, yeah, I'll give you a bunch. That would be, a, that would yeah, be cool. That's awesome. Yeah. You, Very cool. You could have a good it. following. I would definitely appreciate the help, but yeah. So uh, thank you. Please subscribe and help me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand. That's my magic number, as I was telling Lynn. And yep. You know, so have That's a good awesome. one, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Have a good one. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye.